Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. Some talented people find it difficult to monetize their talents. What are the best, best ways to monetize one's uh, talent? You know, it's a major problem with the arts and artists. We get consumed. We get consumed by our uh, art, by our artistry, and uh, which, of course, makes some of us go hungry. Ideally, ideally, a lot of our energy should be concentrated on creativity. If we have, if we had structures in place, right? It should be the business of the business people to find ways of doing that. But we do not have that structure. But lessons I've taught, or uh, the lessons one has learned is that you need to stay alive to be able to be creative. You need to. So you want to find ways, learn from people, ask questions, ask questions. Because as bad as COVID was, it was a good thing in terms of reshaping our thoughts and all that. But it's not all just about COVID. It's about a deliberate act of making of it out of your art. That is what you have. That is what you have to sell. So, and there are channels. There could be frustrations along the way. There are channels. I am not an expert in that but i found a way of ensuring that my art is not just thrown into the air without something coming back there are children to be sent to school the house has to be maintained adam does not expect that you go from monday till friday and nothing comes in some food has to be put on the table of the family but really 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 that aspect of it really is one, something that is lacking in our industry in our industry and uh, business minded individuals and groups and companies as well really needs to come in and help out there i had a meeting step as some time ago with a body of bankers and this exactly was the way they were thinking we had a fruitful meeting but i must confess that they are yet to follow up properly on, on our deliberation. I sincerely hope they will. And I sincerely also hope that maybe one of them should be watching this. I know that <laughs> there's a lot of money to be made in the arts. A lot of money. There are countries whose uh, main stake in terms of their economy is entertainment. We have oil now, but we know what is happening. We some know what may happen and uh, complete reliance on that may not be the best for any nation. Entertainment okay. can, can, can provide a lot of revenue. But as individuals, we need to make more conscious efforts to it. Now, still talking about monetization of one's uh, talent, how do you feel each time you, you read, um, you know, you, you, you come across stories in the papers or on TV and radio, you know, where actors who hit out to where popular, well-known, and they are begging for maybe 1,000 or 2,000 or, you know, how do you feel each time you come across such stories? Considering the status that some of those people may have attained prior to, I mean, finding themselves in such a unfortunate situation. Let me just put it that way. It's a very, very sad thing. I feel very, very sad. I feel very, very, very sad. And uh, it's even worse that the thing happened, it, I mean, happens too, maybe too often in recent times. And I honestly will not blame any other person for it not ourselves. One, people, artists need to be conscious of the fact that you may have a lot of energy now, you may have a lot of talent and all that, but horrible things do happen. It's not until when you get to old age that you can find yourself on the sour side of life. So there is the need to invest, there is the need to come together and share eyes. There is the need when you are making waves to be conscious of the fact that things might turn around any any time the, there's what you call the visitudes of life it happens to but outside that we are operating in a situation where structures are not in place i've championed this idea of uh insurance for, for group insurance yes group insurance for the arts but the response you get most times may not be too encouraging and then, then that happens and then land over and over again. that is why there is also the need for artists to be less reckless with life to be conscious of their health status i'm speaking now god forbid something happens i will not wish it for my enemy but the honest truth is a number of 
was can be very very reckless it can be very very reckless careful and when this happens it becomes too late to, to ameliorate the situation so one will continue to make that appeal we all love life you don't have to be an art artist to love life but this must be done in moderation a lot of things must be done in moderation but most importantly we need to put structures in place to take care of artists uh when they are less agile when they when they cannot do as much as they used to do